Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to decide if we should go into the light or go into the darkness. We gonna talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A year ago, I had a near-death like experience and ever since then I could pick up on energies and I can even hear from God itself. I was told it would take my soul 14,422 lifetimes to get it together. So I decided to start a social media platform so I can help more people speed this thing on up and finally get the heck up off this planet and rest. I'm tired. Ready to go. Hey guys, welcome back to Instructions for Humanity. It is your girl, your spiritual teacher, Tahira, where I teach the divine message I received that we are all one in love. Grow with me, guys. Love with me. It's going to be a great ride. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get the elephant out the room before I jump into uh, the video title of today is how to stop coming back here, how to stop being recycled, how to stop being reincarnated here on the earth school. But guys, I want to let you know that this is not a love and light channel. No. This is a channel for truth seekers. This is a channel that is going to pull up that veil and show you what's been hidden behind the, the curtain. And I know a lot of you are like, she's a, what's, what's going on? She's saying that heaven is not what I think it is. I'm sorry. It's not what you think that it is because it has been infiltrated by the evil ones. And that's what the last video was about. But Mother God has cleansed them and ran them out of heaven. Right? That's why they're in the metaverse now. They built the digital matrix. So let us put on our big boy and big girl underwear. And let's put our bottles and pacifiers to the side. So that we can... Go ahead and get the upgrade so that we can go to the new frequency, to the new earth. Because the old earth is dead. Okay? And it will be destroyed. Okay? Everything has changed. So if you can't do that, then I'm just going to ask that you, I thank you. I do thank you. But go ahead and just exit stage left. Go ahead and click on that unsubscribe button because... It's about to get deep, deep. You ain't seen nothing yet. Spirit been talking to me. Men lie, women lie, spirit don't lie. Okay? And I love everybody. Don't get me wrong. I am love and light. But guys, you have to understand that it's out of the darkness that you can see the light. Right? If there was only light, you would be blind. You ever heard of being blinded by the lights? You need the darkness because it reveals the light. That's why we do the shadow work on ourselves. We go inside of ourselves and we pull out the evilness that's inside of us. We pull out that demon. Those are us in the spirit world. All those demons, those are our individual demons because you haven't dealt with the demon inside of yourself. Go into... Do the shadow work. Pull that evil out so you, that you can defeat your demon and there'll be one less demon in the, in the spirit world, right? Okay. So there's two sides of the coin of love, guys. Like I said, I am, I am love because I'm a God particle. But there's the side of the coin of love and then there's the other side of the coin, which is tough love. And that's what I have to use in some videos so that you can get the message because I don't want you to perish. I want you to get the upgrade and move on to the new earth where I am and where millions of us already are, guys. So you don't perish on the old frequency, which the Rona took out, right? Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that, but I had to just... I had to clear the air. So let's get into the, the video that I want to do today because, guys, I know I speak about heaven. But what you have to understand is, like I said, heaven has been infiltrated 
There's also a cleansing of the heavens. Heavens is nothing more than the astral realm. When I speak about heaven, I'm talking about the, the spirit realm. Because that's what it is, the astral realm. There's many different levels of heaven. There's lower levels of heaven where there are earthbound spirits still dwelling. There could be some dark places there. So when I talk about cleansing out the heavens, the heavens is holding on to all your things. There are dark places, yes, even in the heavens. It's not the end all be all like you were told, guys. This is a soul's journey. There's no such thing as resting forever. Not if you go to spirit school because spirit revealed to me that heaven is spirit school. That's where you learn to be a good soul, a good obedient soul, a good spirit. So you keep going. Spirit school, earth school, spirit school, earth school. And you never get off the will of time, the will of reincarnation. And that's why I'm here to expose that. So you don't have to come back. So you can go home and rest. Okay, and we're going to get there. So the first thing I want to say is we've been told to go into the light, right? Now, I'm not saying that the light is bad. But like I said, if it's all light, you're going to be blinded. And when you're blinded, you can't see. And when you can't see, that's when you get the trick bag again to come back down here and do it all over again. Okay? So there are a lot of tactics used when you die to get you to come into the light. And I'm going to, ex not expose, but I'm going to share that with you guys. Or maybe expose if you, if you don't know about it. The first thing they might use upon your death, right? They might send some of your loved ones to come and greet you on your deathbed. You might see your mama. You might see your brother, your sister, or your best friend, your dog, your pet. They'll use your pets too, guys. They'll say, come with me. Come into the light. I love you and you love them. So you're just going to follow. You're just going to follow them into the light. Okay? You have to understand that our soul groups and our soul families and even our soul ties and soul fragments. I'm going to say it's not a good thing, guys. My soul group, my soul family loves me. I'm going to go back and be with my soul tie. My soul group. Guys, they're just as confused as you. They don't even know that they're trapped in the heaven matrix that keeps you coming back here to experience more pain. They don't even know. When you are divine, when you are truly divine, a God particle, you need nothing. You lack nothing. You don't need a soul group and a soul family and a soul tie because you are part of the divine. You are the divine. You are a lone wolf. Right? Because you're complete. You're supposed to be complete when you pass away. But if you're still attached to your soul groups and your soul families, that's not completeness, guys. That's still living in the material world. You have to have all these things, including having families and groups and friends and all of those things. Okay? So they will use, use your um, loved ones that have passed away to get you to come to the light. Okay? They'll use your pets. Pet, your pet will start running off and you'll just be following little poodle and before you know it you back in the will of time you back being born again guys I'm giving you food for thought another thing that could be used to get you to go into the light so you can go into the heaven matrix so that you can get recycled is you know when they say that life review that they play for you that movie yeah heaven's been recording your whole life They've been watching you, recording everything you do. And they're going to play it for you. Even that time when you got shot 25 times, they're going to play that for you. 
so that you can experience it again. But not only so you can experience it, we got to play it again so that you can see how your mother felt when you died that horrible death. And then wait, I'm going to play it one more time. Let me show you how your brother felt when you died that horrible death. And then wait, I got to play it again and again. Because Susie, you have to see how Susie feels and you have to uh, see how Sam felt and you have to see how humanity felt. And before you know it, you have experienced that horrible death millions of times yet again when they go ahead and play that life review. You know, that life review is how you start to judge yourself. This would be equivalent to, you know, when they say you go to heaven and you get judged by God. But really, you do get judged by God. It's you. You are the God that judges you because you're the God particle. You are going to be your worst judge. Who's harder on you than yourself? And that's when they play that. And your guardian angel is going to be like, I know you can do better than that. Don't you want to just go down again? Give it another shot? No pun intended. And so you get in what? Your, your 3D feelings and emotions. I hope you know. I hope you can see where I'm going with this. Okay? So you start thinking. Boy, I didn't do a good job. I might need to come back. And experience this hell show all over again. Because this place is hell. So, going back to your guardian angel. Now, the verdict is still out. If your guardian angel is in on it, or if they're just as programmed as you are, which I think that they are. The evil one has run amok in the spaces in heaven. You know, they got everything screwed up. So your guardian angel will pressure you in a way. Well, I know you just saw that life review for the millionth time. I know you're feeling really low. They'll wait till you're really low. And they say, I know you can do better. Cue in another beam. Another beam comes. You're like, wow, look how bright they are. Look how beautiful they are. I want to shine like that. I want to be that bright. I know you've been living for over 500,000 years. I know I got about 400 thousand more lifetimes to go but I think I can do it I think I can shine just as bright as you just put me in another meat suit send me back down down the womb so I can be reborn and do it all over again how much brighter do you need to be that's still living in your ego in your 3d material world so if you're you're really supposed to be complete when you go to heaven, but if you're still in your 3D world, if you're still operating out of the ego because you want to shine just as bright as the other soul, then are you really complete? Have you really truly been filled with the spirit of the Most High? Because if you had, you wouldn't be in your ego, in your emotions, and in your um, material world and your material thoughts okay so the guardian angel is another thing they'll use the other thing they really use is this is when they start the using the technicians and all of the um all of the um the rooms they have up there to get you to forget the hell that you just experienced one is the healing center of heaven that i spoke about in another video i'm going to link that now I'm not saying that the healing center is not good because what it does is it washes you clean from your memories and all of your feelings and emotions of the life that you just led. Because, I mean, if you're going to be in heaven, it, it would be torture just to be there thinking about all of the pain that you just experienced, especially if you died in a gruesome way. But also the, the healing center is a double-edged sword because... Once that's been wiped, once all your memories been wiped away, you don't remember anymore how hellish it was. 
you don't remember. So you're going to say, okay, wow, I'm going to go down to earth. I'm going to shine just as bright as him. Okay, it's a double-edged sword. Another thing that I discovered is that not only, remember I told you, spirit told me that heaven is spirit school. But there are actual classrooms in the kingdom of heaven. It's called soul school. There's souls actually in classes, in individual classes on your individual level and you're learning. But what are you learning about? You're learning the next script that you'll be given to come down here and play it the role all over again. So yes, you're in the you're in the soul classroom with the people that are gonna be playing all these roles with you, right? You're gonna see everybody there and you guys will gonna be working on your script and rehearsing and they're gonna teach you how to accept that veil of forgetfulness, right? So when you come down, you, you forget, you accept the veil, you don't fight it and that way they can keep you down here, keep you recycled because they need your energy. That's what this is all about. The evil ones need to keep you in motion because that is how they cipher the divine energy from you because you are an organic being from the cosmos, right? From mother God of the universe, the great womb that we're resting in. The energy that they feed off of is melanin. It is the melanin of Cosmic Mama. The universe is melanated. So Cosmic Mama sent all of us organic beings and we're made from stardust. Stardust, part of the universe, it also has melanin. So that's why they send us to and from Earth School, Heaven School. That's what they're using. They're using our organic energy. They're using our melanin to run amok, not only on the earth, but in the heavens as well. They are using our stardust to keep themselves fueled, to keep them going. Okay? So, it seems like you're never going to escape school. You're in school. You wonder why you, you spend so much time in school on the earth. You notice how you'll spend 18 years in school. You don't, you don't learn anything. That's not, that's done by design. You know nothing. There are some people who graduate high school. They know nothing. They graduate college. They know nothing. They don't even know how to put together a proper sentence. After 20, 25, 30 years of schooling. It's to keep you indoctrinated, guys. You think it's a coincidence we have all these schools and they keep taking money from you? You keep going there, but yeah, you might get an education, but I guarantee you they got more from you than you got from them. Because while you're there, they're going to teach you other things. It's going to indoctrinate you and your children. It's going to teach your children how to be good students, how to be good souls, how to be obedient to their system. So that way, when you see a video like this about heaven is a matrix, you shut it down because you've been indoctrinated that only the things that they tell you are true, that only the books that they give you are true, that only the God they give you is true. Okay? I remember a few years ago, I was uh, talking to the Spirit of God and he told me about the library of infinite possibilities in the heavens. And he showed it to me. Infinite amount of books go up as far as the eye can see. And they're all glowing. This is the library of infinite possibilities because they have all of the history in there, all these roles that we're playing, 
Everything that has ever been and ever will be is in those books, is in that library of infinite possibilities. And some people have even told stories about being in those libraries, but no, you can't just go and grab any book on your own. No. They have librarians in heaven that will help you get the perfect book. Why are you not free in this place called heaven? And I'm talking from experience, somebody who, is, who goes into the spirit world, someone who's been in heaven multiple times, someone who's walked my brother into the gates of heaven. So I'm talking from my own experience, not from a book that I read or from what the pastor told me, what the minister said. I speak to source energy God myself. God has already shown me all of these things. Guys, there's no freedom in heaven. The librarian has to get your books. Why can't you touch the book? Why? Aren't you washed clean? Aren't you... Holy, holy enough to hold the book yourself? It's a trick bag, guys. They're going to give you the script they want you to play. The next role they need you to play. Because guess what? It's not really free will when you have a script that you've already rehearsed. And in that script, it tells you you're going to come down and kill hundreds of thousands of people. They're going to feed off that energy. All that death, they're going to use that. They're going to eat that up. They're going to have a feast. With that script you, they gave you, that's why they keep pressuring you to come back down. Are you ready yet? Your spirit guides, are you ready? Are you ready yet? They need that energy. They need you to come down here and wreak havoc on the world. They need some of us to play these bad characters. You're wondering why you're doing bad things and you don't want to. Because it's in your script. It's already been written. Yeah. Heaven has been infiltrated too, guys. The evil one is everywhere. Okay? And then, don't ever do this. I mean, first of all, you shouldn't have went into the light without a plan. Then... You shouldn't have watched that review because it's going to keep you in those emotions to get you to agree. You've agreed to all this. Remember, I always say you've already agreed to it because they've, they've guilt tripped you into coming back. But you yourself have to agree. Then if they tell you here, it's time for the dress rehearsal now. Let me show you the new meat suits that you'll be wearing, the new earth suits you'll be putting on to come down and play these roles. Look at this meat suit. You like it? It's Polynesian man, look, it's beautiful skin. Don't try any, any meat suits, any earth suits. That's when you know you're about to be back stuffed in that, in your mama's womb to be reborn again. No meat suits, say no to the meat, meat suits, guys. Those are the tactics. So if you can watch out for all of those things, then you can get off the wheel of time and stop coming back to the earth school. Okay? But where? Where now? Where do you go? What do you do now if you didn't go into the light? The dark void is our cosmic mother, is our cosmic father, the great universal spirit, source, energy, God. Because it is in the darkness that you can see the light of God. And it is in the darkness that you are able to shine bright. It's not in the bright lights of heaven that you're going to also shine your bright light. Because you will be blind and then you cannot see. Okay? Out of darkness brings the light. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to the void. You have a few options in the void. You can join back into the collective. You can join back into source energy God. Where you lose your individual consciousness. And you connect to the collective consciousness. Which is all of us. The God particles, right? We make up. 
we make up the God body, the God Christ consciousness. Or you can be a lone wolf and keep your individual consciousness because you are a God. You are a God particle. And a God doesn't need anything. It stands alone. It's, it's unafraid in the dark because it is the light. Okay? So there's a few things you can do so that you can die and never come back. So you can die and stop being recycled. You can have an afterlife plan, which is what I'm getting together. Like I've already told you, I know where I'm going. But also too, you need to have it written down. Some people do that. Record it, play it over and over on your deathbed. Because when you die, you may only have a small window to put your plan into action before you are sucked right back in to this trap to be reincarnated all over again. They're going to send your soul group, your soul family. You need to let your people know now, do not greet you because you won't be going with them. Tell them, do not meet me at the light. And if they have to happen to come to the light, you know what you need to do? You need to pull out that sword. That love sword that is a double-edged sword. And you need to turn it over to the other side where the tough love side is. And you need to cut the soul tie. Cut the soul family tie. Cut the soul fragment tie. Cut it. Because you will be right back with them with another trick bag being fooled in the matrix heaven all over again. A divine God particle needs nobody. Not even their mama from their previous life. They need nothing. Nothing. So you need to end those soul contracts while you're still living. Go ahead and end them now. So that you don't go into the afterlife bringing karma. They're going to use that karma against you to come back and repay it. Come back and try it again with this person. They're going to use that. But if you go through and you end those soul contracts now, they have nothing to use. Go and write everybody a letter. People that you feel like you've done wrong, go ahead. Explain to them that you're sorry, that you love them, that you understand that we are all one in love. Tell them that you end this and you allow them to be at peace. You allow them to go their way and wish them well to their highest good. And you can even burn it. You can burn the letter to solidify it. That's how you manifest. That's how you usher things in. You can use any of the elements to do that. And I love the element of fire because it burns it up completely. It's done. Okay? You can submerge it in water. You can bury it. It's done. Okay? Release it to the air. It's done. But you have to get rid of those soul contracts, guys, because this will be the thing. This is going to be the hardest one that they're going to use. You're going to see your mama. You're going to see your, your husband. You're going to just run to them. And you're going to be back in the heaven matrix all over again. And I love that we, we can now have all these stories that have come out about all of our past lives. And I'm talking from experience. I remember like four of my past lives. I died in battle. One of them. I was burnt. My, they burnt my body at the end. Then... My previous life before this, when I was Lavinia in Rome, living in Rome, I died in the church, church fire. I was a religious nut. I was so religious that I didn't have any regard for my own family. I spent all of my waking hours in church. And the only thing I spoke about was the indoctrination that they gave to me. That's why I'm like this in this lifetime. Because I know where that path leads. It leads to death. Death of the body, death of the mind. 
depth of the spirit, the soul essence. That's why I'm here again. Now, I flipped over the coin. I'm on the other side of the coin. That's why I'm here on this channel, speaking to all of you guys, because I've learned. So reincarnation, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Look at it. I've saw both sides of the coin. My, I tell you guys, we got to see both sides of the coin. But you don't have to have 15,000 lifetimes to do it. You can understand now that we're all one in love. You can understand now that you can go ahead and end those soul contracts. That you don't have to spend 20,000 lifetimes on the earth. And then how many lifetimes have you spent in heaven? When you add it all up, when do you ever rest? You don't. It's a trick bag to keep you in motion. When they keep you in motion, that's how they get your energy. When you are still, you're not going to the kingdom of heaven to rest. Not if the evil ones are still up there running amok. Because they have to keep you in motion to cipher your energy. If you're resting, they can't. It's a trick. Don't fall for it. It's a trick bag to get you to be a good soul. All these things, all the schooling, the indoctrination still continues in heaven with all of the classes. I've seen it with my own eyes. Souls studying in heaven. They're not studying about the Father, about Source Energy God, about Jesus. They're studying their next script. They're studying the script and all the roles that they're going to play. All the good things they'll do, but... More importantly, all of the bad things are going to come down and do to humanity, to keep humanity at the low frequency, to keep humanity from getting the upgrade. It's all in the scripts that you're given in heaven. It's all in those scripts. This should make you angry. This should make you angry that you've been lied to. This should make you very angry. Because we built our whole existence on dying and going to heaven, haven't we? That was our safe space. And when you see me here, and I'm shattering that for you, it doesn't make you feel good. It, it makes you angry with me. Angry with me, the messenger. But I have nothing to get from you. I have to warn you. So you don't end up recycled and used. They're just energy vampires. They want to lure you there and suck your energy. Suck your, all your peace, all your joy. I'm not saying that you won't have those things, but guys, it's not going to be real. It's not going to be forever because they're going to give you that script. They're going to put that new earth suit, that new meat suit on you, and spit you back down another womb. If you don't pay attention to this very important message. You don't need to shine the brightest. You can say, you know what? I know I'm shining bright here and over here, but you know, this part's a little gray but you know what that's okay I can be a little flawed but I still love myself because I'm a God particle you don't have to want to keep making it bigger and better and brighter because that's how you keep coming back and you never you never actually rest and all those promises you were promised in the kingdom of heaven all the prosperity in the mansions and everything, all the love. Well, oh, 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 you almost had it, but you gotta come back down. Oh, 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 you almost had it, but you gotta come back down. Yes, heaven is stealing from you. That's why I said it. Heaven is stealing from you. All those things that are in the heaven realm, those are things you're supposed to already have. They're not supposed to be withheld from you in the kingdom of heaven. Right? You are a God particle. Prosperity is yours. 
It is innately in you. You were birthed with it. If you have the spark of life that comes from God, that comes from the one and true God, source energy God, cosmic God, you have the spark of life. All those things are yours. Heaven's been withholding it from you. They've been all locked up in the kingdom of heaven. All in the kingdom of heaven. It's no longer the safe space that we once thought that it was, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this resonated with any of you beautiful people out there. Guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I know a girl I told you to unsubscribe, but please go ahead and subscribe if this message resonates with you. Guys, go ahead and like the videos and leave a comment, please. I love you. Source Energy God loves you. The birds, the bees, and the trees, they all love you. Love is the way. Forgiveness is the key and truth is the light that guides us home. Be well.